So we just got into town, have to do a little uh, grocery shopping. Pretty much everything that we buy, uh, we are buying local. And when I say that, we live in the province. So we're going to the little markets right near where we live. Everything's family owned. They're ra raising it themselves. They're harvesting it themselves. We're buying our food like Filipinos buy their food. And when, I mean, 98% of the Philippines, this is what it's like. Uh, they're smaller provinces and then suburbs, but either way, they're family businesses and very few chain organizations. Obviously, you go into Cebu and Manila and Davao and, and places like that and, you know, more into the city, you have more of those chain restaurants and grocery stores and t those types of places. I avoided those in Chicago. Uh, personally, I'd rather not um, pay some large corporation to rebottle something, repackage it, put a sticker on it, uh, put a bunch of preservatives in it, pack it with sugar and crab, and then charge me five times what it initially cost, um, which is a big reason why I love living in the Philippines. So not only am I actually buying it from Filipinos that raised it and, and made it themselves and their family businesses, two, it's a lot healthier, and three, the price. So again, I live on the province, for anyone that hasn't watched my channel before, and when I say I live out in the province, I mean I live out in the province. Um, I live in the Philippines like most Filipinos do, and I see a lot of grocery hauls online, and I'm, I'm kind of confused by them, I guess. I guess not really confused is the word or saying I should use, because when we go into the city, we'll go to those grocery stores once in a while like we've done it before when we need like coffee honestly or bulk toilet paper uh, but outside of that we're not uh, we're not going to those types of places they're not just they really don't interest us um, everything that we're buying we're buying at little local markets from the families the people that grow the pineapples the people that grow the bananas um, I found a, a family down the street that's actually harvesting peanuts and they're making peanut butter so I'm buying my nuts from them and you know in the peanut butter and I'm spending a fourth of the price and I know it's ten times healthier and on top of that I'm supporting a local family right I'm not giving the money to Jiffy which is you know a massive corporation which is selling the peanut butter at uh, Robinson supermarket and then at the end of the day I'm paying five times too much and it's packed with sugar and I'm not helping the Filipinos out right I mean let's be honest here yes they have cashiers there but for the most part, you're paying a large chain corporation to buy an unhealthy product that's overpriced, which I don't really like any of those things, to be honest with you. I, I enjoy living more like a Filipino, so I like to avoid those things as much as I can, and I mean that. Um, I really like to avoid those things even in Chicago, but my options would be going to our healthier grocery stores, which the prices would be double, and everything still imported or comes from somewhere weird, right? I mean, let's be honest here. They're not, uh, they're not growing anything in Chicago other than, you know, drugs. <laughs> um, so it, it made my, my life uh, a lot more challenging. And again, I, I live out here in the province. It's, it's great, because I walk around these little markets and I'm helping out the families that are working their butts off you know, six or seven days a week and making this much off of each sale. So I'd rather give them that much and they can they can eat food that night. They can, you know, take care of their kids and, and so on. And like I've said, it's 10 times healthier for me and my wife. This chickens, you know, I can't help it. But again, it's healthier for me and my wife. And on top of that, it's so much cheaper. So anyways, Let's uh, do some shopping. Hopefully, there'll be limited chickens over here, but honestly, there's, they're still going to be everywhere. My own harpoon. Just want to say how much I blend right in as a foreigner walking around with a camera. No one notices very inconspicuous. And what is this? Milkfish. Milkfish. Milk 
I believe this cat is alive, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Hey, hey, yep, okay. Just had a rough night. All right, so I just bought uh, four more kilos of fish. Uh, one of them I actually knew what it was. The other one, uh, I just thought it looked pretty. So usually that's my tactic. Uh, my wife says, what's this? And I said, I don't know, it looks nice. So I, I bought it. My own harpoon. I know these kind of markets aren't for everyone, but uh, I honestly really do prefer it and enjoy shopping here. It's uh, just amazing every time I come here. Everything is so fresh. Everyone is so kind and friendly and helpful. And again, the fact is that you're you're helping out the local community and whoever you're buying it from, it, I mean, it makes a, a difference to them on this sale or not. And they're constantly getting beaten out by large corporations that we we see those a lot in western countries and unfortunately the mom and pop businesses have gone away but over here they're still uh they're still very alive and active well, i know i already said this but i'd rather buy from from these local people any day of the week um, again because i'm i'm helping out the local people that i care a lot more about than a big chain corporation um two it's generally always healthier um, for the most part. And then of course, obviously the price. Um, so after I'm getting healthier food and I'm actually giving it to someone that actually cares about it, it ends up being cheaper at the end of the day, which is, you know, enter entertaining to me. But again, this isn't uh, for everyone. A lot of people want to walk around the uh, air conditioned grocery market and have a little shopping cart and nice music in the background and there's nothing wrong with that there's plenty of things that i do need to go to those places for um, i've always been kind of a coffee snob and unfortunately i don't know anyone raising coffee beans locally that i can buy it from um sorry um along with milk I haven't found anyone local that's raising cows for milk purposes. It's only meat. So, I mean, no one around here is, is really drinking milk or they're drinking powdered milk. So it's one thing, unfortunately, I haven't been able to source locally, which I'd like to. Um, I'm glad, again, that I found the peanut butter, but things like coffee and milk, I'll probably have to keep buying from some larger place. But, hey, if I can get 90% of my food here, 95, 98%, honestly, um, I'm really happy with that. I really like it. I love this atmosphere. Every everyone here is so peaceful and friendly. Again, everything's so much cheaper, and again, it's healthier for the most part. Yes, you can go in here and buy, you know, 10 kilos of of fat off a pig, and I'm not going to tell you that it's going to be healthier. But if you're buying fat, you're buying fat. But for the most part, I'm not buying things out of a bag or a box that has an expiration date from. 10 years from now and then you're, you're convincing yourself that it's healthy but it says Kellogg's on it or Kraft or something like that <laughs> so anyways but again personal choice I just enjoy this more myself and my wife is at the plant place with bags of stuff so let's see what this is going to cost us how much we spend I find this entertaining that the most expensive store quote unquote store don't <laughs> Um, that we bought from was the plant place. So my wife spent 950 pesos on plants when our house is surrounded by green. Um, every other little place we spent, you know, maybe, I don't know, two to 400 at on, on the higher end. But anyways, that's all right. It'll make her happy. So then it makes me happy at the end of the day. But again, this is the province lifestyle when you're buying food and grocery shopping because this whole street is all vendors and then this is the view as soon as you turn away from it this is the definition of the province this is how people are generally shopping in the philippines it's not in <laughs> big grocery stores it's little places like this in the middle of nowhere and they're buying all their food that's what i love about this place i can't say it enough um, it makes me happy every time I'm, I'm handing some money to someone and they're just they're happy and they're smiling because it makes a big difference in their life uh, and i look at the food it's, it's fresh tastes great um 
and everyone knows each other. Every, everyone in here is safe. I bet I could, I wouldn't leave my iPhone or my wallet on the ground, of course. That's just stupid to do anywhere. But for the most part, I don't ever worry about walking around these kind of places and having any type of safety issue. Just a great environment. All right, so we got back from shopping. A little dark out, as you can see. Uh, for the most part, we got pretty much everything we need. Um, again, there's always going to be a few items that I cannot get at the local market. When I say that, um, I get three bags of oatmeal up there. We bought those when we went into the city. I'll get a couple at once because oatmeal lasts for quite a while, and then I know I get enough for you know a couple months. I don't have to run back out just for something small like that. Uh, we got our water bottles for, what is it, 20, 25 peso, and they're big jugs. We'll get four or five at a time. Um, so there's, there's a few, obviously, additional items because you can't get every single thing at a local market, but for the most part, you can. Now, granted, I'm a very healthy eater. So when I say that in the U.S., when I went into the grocery store, um, I, I would take a right and I wouldn't go into the aisles at all, ever. And when I mean that, I would go take a right, I would get my, all my fruit, then I would get my vegetables, then I would go to the fish section, then the meat section, and then last would be your dairy product. So I'd grab the milk, um, and then I would leave. I mean, I wouldn't really ever be in the aisles other than to grab maybe some, some beans, um, oatmeal, uh, rice. But I mean, those are things around here. You're actually buying most of those things fresh minus the oatmeal. I can't find anyone, you know, harvesting and actually taking oatmeal, uh, <laughs> making it themselves. Sorry. So that being said, you know, like I said, I can't get everything, but I try to, for the most part, um, I know I've already said this a couple times, but it's a big deal to me that I'm purchasing it locally, buying it from small family owned places. It's so much healthier. And again, it's so much cheaper. So there's a few other items. My wife said she bought a couple other vegetables the other day. That's why she didn't buy those, uh, like tomatoes and stuff like that. Um, we get coconut off of our land, so we don't have to buy coconuts and we have a couple mango trees. So we're not buying mangoes. Actually, my wife sells mangoes, so people come here and they take them because we can't eat like massive bulks of mangoes. Um, so there's always going to be a few items that we have to, like I said, get at a grocery store um, and places that we might find one off because it might be a little bit cheaper that day or something like that. But for the most part, I try to avoid buying anything in a box or a bag if I can for all the reasons that I've stated. and the price reflects that because of that so i mean we'll pull up this list right now and you know look at what i'm paying so i mean for a chicken paying 200 peso per kilo we picked up two sometimes we'll pick up three or four um, and put some in the freezer really depends beef 270 peso pork 270 and of course with when it comes down to like beef and pork you can buy different grades. We're getting the better one, um, but you can always get it cheaper and then pick it off of a, the different part of the animal, if you know what I mean. But um, a little, I'm not gonna say picky, I guess, but we'll get the healthier selection, if that makes sense. Um, fish, cheap end, paying 40 peso a kilo. And I'm not joking. I mean, at 55 peso a dollar, 40 peso for a kilo, 2.2 pounds. Um, that's not the fish that I eat myself, just to let you know, I'm not gonna say I eat that. Um, I actually use that for dog and cat food. So we're actually feeding them real food as well. But at 40, 40 peso a kilo, you know, a lot of times if it's less at all, or we can get a discount, then we'll buy, you know, five or 10 kilos at once. and. Um, She'll just keep it in the fridge and then keep pulling it out and cooking it and stuff like that. So anyways, uh, fish, listen, fish is one of those things that can vary because if you go into a Philippine market, you are going to find 10 different prices for some of the fish and you're going to find 25 different types of fish or more than that. So I'm just, I came up with an average because some of them I paid 120 or 150 peso for. Um, some of the better fish might be 220 per kilo, maybe 250. Um, but again, I mean, I, I get, 
good fish for the most part and then every so often i think i have this in the video i'll look at a fish and i will have no idea what it is and i'll say okay i'll take a kilo and then my wife will say what's this and you know i'll be honest with her i have no idea i've never seen this fish before it looked pretty <laughs> and i bought it and i'll see how it tastes because I, I honestly don't know so she'll laugh at me when i do that but um i don't care if i'm spending you know one two dollars and you know again i'm buying it off a local family and then i'm seeing how it tastes so no big deal um carrots potatoes onions garlic as you can see those prices are very very low and you know they're fresh they're not coming out of a bag they're not coming out of a box they're they're very very fresh and when i say that they're usually dirty because they pulled them out of the ground um and then we're washing them off so banana Apple is one of those things that I do know that the apples are imported for the most part. You can get some of them out of Cebu, but for the most part, those are imported. Um, pineapple, I pay 30 because I usually buy them in bulk. Oranges, and then peanut butter and two different grades of peanuts. Um, peanut butter, it was 70 peso, then it was 65, then it was 55, then it was 65. It's fluctuated quite a bit just since I've been here. But if I buy a few at a time, or I just buy them off of the one lady that I know down the street, I'm paying 60 peso. And it is extremely fresh, and it's made right there. I can watch them make it if I want to, and it's great. It's healthy, and I really like it. Um, I love it that I'm buying it from there alone, but the fact is it's so much healthier. And when I go to the grocery store, it's four times the price on the cheaper end probably five or six or, or more times the price. And I know it's not as healthy if I'm buying it from the grocery store. Um, two different choices of peanuts that I buy in the kilo form. And one is raised here. The other one I'm told they import from another island. Um, I'm gonna check on that because someone else told me the other color peanut that I was buying was actually coming from Thailand. Um, I do know the other one that is made locally. I do know that for a fact, but either way, a kilo is, is $2. When I look at peanuts at the grocery store, it's four or five times the price and you're not getting a kilo. You're not even getting a pound for that. So, I mean, um, the price is one tenth of, of what it should be. So anyways, um, I put down a rough cost down there, which for my price was about $55 and 15 cents. Um, but anyone that watches USD to any other currency, including PHP, knows that this fluctuates every couple hours. So, you know, bear with me here. It was $55 the day I transferred and the day I purchased this. Uh, I noticed today it was up to 56. Um, so I'm going to transfer <laughs> what I got off of this. But either way, I'm not going to put down that price because it's not fair of me. I didn't transfer, go get the money and then go out shopping, you know. Right now, I had already transferred the money and pulled it out, but either way, you're gonna see the PHP fluctuate, of course, but that gives you a, a rough idea of what I spent for all that food. And you look at it and there's over five pounds of, of meat there, um, not to mention the fish, you know, half of that's not for me, of course, but either way, a couple of kilos of fish, a um, hundred eggs, which honestly usually doesn't last me very long you would think 100 eggs would but i eat seven to ten a day so it, it doesn't <laughs> but um at five peso a, key, a piece i i don't care um if i eat five or six or seven at a time it's cheap and it's a lot of protein so and those are not something that i'm getting imported i'm not getting those in a box i'm buying those right down the street i can watch the chicken pop them out if i want to i have better things to do but <laughs> i'm buying them right over there so Anyways, this, this just gives you a, you guys a good uh, cost comparison because I see quite a few videos again and the prices are all over the board of course, island per island and city versus suburbs or, or even province. Most of the time I'm seeing prices online though, they're actually in grocery stores where they're in, you know, good size supermarkets. So when I look at the prices, it's not anywhere near what I'm paying doesn't make it right or wrong. If it's convenient, that's where you want to shop, then that's that's where you want to shop. But I just know I'm spending a lot less on my food. So gives you guys a good idea of the different high end and low end, right? I mean, the fact is we can look at any state or any country and what someone spends on food in the middle of Vermont compared to upstate New York, 
is nowhere near the same thing. Or California compared to, you know, the middle of Wisconsin, the prices are night and day difference. So, anyways, um, hope you enjoyed that. A lot more videos to come. I actually already have a couple made. I just hadn't put them out yet. So, but, all right. Thank you.